my niggas, they still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. I'm fucking the good, we using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Fuck with us wrong, and you niggas in trouble. The 40 they took ain't no time. Yeah. So. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming, and established artists. Today, we rocking out with a multimedia guru, director, coach, promoter, multitasker, and more, man. Thanks for coming to the show, man. Appreciate you, my boy. My name is Carville Brooks, filmmaker, director, you know, everything bro just said. <laughs> yeah. so what's been up in the media world man you've been all all yeah. across tv you've been everywhere yeah. man yeah so you know i got my own production company cle it stands for changing lives through entertainment so that's my goal changing lives through entertainment that's and crazy with that being said bro um i, I know you up, all this time bro calling yeah. you cle brooks yeah. and all that yeah. no, and yeah. i never knew what that meant man yep yep that's yep. crazy that's crazy so everything so. i do is pretty much with entertainment Right. You know, I want to change people's lives. So everybody I bring around me, that's my goal. Change their lives. Whether I'm giving them a job or I'm showing their talent. Man, because you all across the board, man. You working with adults, kids, and and the whole nine, man. So um, we just seen you on the news, man, with a, with a team on the news, whatever, man. You working with 100 kids. You got your own league, man. So spill it, man. What's going on? Yeah. What you got going on, man? So this is my first year ever in the youth football league, an NCSL football league. Um, I started my own program. We had over 100 kids. Um, we just brought a different swag, bro, like a whole different attitude to the game. So some people were not used to that type of energy. Absolutely. So with us going 8-0, and o, not losing a game, winning all our games by 40 or 50, you know, a lot blowing of people. Blowing them out. <laughs> blowing them out. <laughs> eight and nine year olds. Right, so man. a lot of people didn't believe that and didn't think that was going to happen. Like, how's this guy going to come in here, buy all this equipment, get all these kids, and, and put on like he said? All out of your pocket. All man. out of my pocket. Wow. Yep. Man, yep. Wow. So, so introduce the team, man. Like the team. Like, man, what's the name of the team? C man? Uh, CLE, CLE Panthers. So C we have CLE Panthers, I got a nine U that's eight and nine year olds, 11 U that's 10 and 11, and I have a 12 and 13 that's the 13 U. And what league? What league are you? Is it your league? Or are you in, a, uh, in a, another league? No, uh, NCSL is the league. So I have my own youth organization, and I created my own team, my own brand, my own organization. So, Man, that's money. So if, if somebody wants their kids to sign up or something, how they how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can go to our website www.cleteam.com. So that's the website. Uh, we start training uh, at the end of March. At the end of March, and that goes on around. Um, four or five o'clock on 64 from Capitol. Yeah, so we kind of smoothed over. So like, I did touch on like him being on the news and all that. So like, tell us, walk us through exactly what happened with, with the team. Cause y'all team got kicked out or something. Yeah, like yeah, that, we right? got kicked out. So we have three different levels. Um, the 13U, 11U, and 9U. So the 11U got into an altercation with a team that we used to coach with before. So wow. let me bring it back a little bit. I coached in the league last year, and I coached with someone talking else's team. Talking to the mic, and you talking yeah. this. I want to yeah. hear this. So, okay. so, so last year, I coached with another team. Okay. And we ended up leaving his team. Like, man, you know what? We're going to start our own team. We don't like the way you're operating. Wow. So we came and started our own team after leaving his and was beating him so bad, his team got mad and threw a punch. What you mean beating him so bad? Like, how like bad? Like, up 30, 40. <laughs> uh, up 30, 40. You know, and copy again, that, we play with that. swag. You play, we play with swag. Right. But at the end, I, I teach sportsmanship and I teach discipline. To be A and O and to beat teams the way we beat teams, you got to have discipline. Yeah, absolutely. You, you're not going out there playing around as a coach if you're able to beat teams the way we've been beating teams. Absolutely. So it was like a slap in the face when people was like, yeah, they blah, blah, blah. They ain't got sportsmanship and all of this good stuff. So, so what you mean, Dad? Like, what, like, what was they saying? Like, where were they saying? Like, about you? Like, what if you beating a team, y'all the best, like, what bad did they have to say about you? Right, just just the, the swag that we had. Yeah. Like me, my, my players had said, I, I said it, or the coaches said it. So I guess they thought that wasn't, that, you know, we wasn't leading by example. Okay, let's talk about the, the, the altercation. Now, what happened with the altercation now? So with the altercation, the other kid threw a punch and everybody ran on the field. We didn't throw a punch. No one on their team uh, threw a punch besides that kid that threw a punch. And it wasn't a punch. It was like a muff. Yeah. And the league rules are if the sidelines enter the field, then it's a call a brawl. But oh, in my man. eyes, 
in in a brawl is when people are fighting, fist fighting, and grabbing each other and pushing yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So none of that happened. So they end up kicking us out of the league. Uh, they're not saying that's that's the, the that was like the the point. Like you know, at this point, you guys are out the league. But for us to be talking trash and being teams, where we've been being teams, we come out to music. So <laughs> we come out to music. So it's like picture eight nine year olds coming out to music lit. Yeah, yeah, just just lit. So it, it was it was just lit, bro. And they took that away from my kids. I had my kids crying all week. We still practice all week, you know. Uh, so it was just it oh, was just insane. Man, man, shame on y'all, man. Like whoever the, yeah. the league owners, whatever. But Fox Six yeah. did touch on that. We got that clip, man. Y'all stay tapped in. New at 10, a fight to let the kids play. A Milwaukee youth football team has been disqualified from competing in this year's playoffs. The team says that's unfair because they were the ones who actually got roughed up on the field. Ashley Sears with what those kids are doing to try to get back in the game. How y'all feel? Yeah. How y'all feel? Yeah. For the last few months, these kids have left everything on the field. They've been practicing since May to have some of the best records in Milwaukee's neighborhood children's sports league. Let's go, Corey! But the joys of victory have been stripped away. I feel disappointed that we can't play. More than a week ago, the 11-year-old Panther game ended with a blow. He walked back on the field and and smacked me. D'Angelo Lee says a player from the opposing team struck him in the face. Just him putting his hands on me had nothing to do with him playing football. The incident caused the stands to clear. The parents and spectators kind of came on the field to de-escalate a situation. The Panthers looked forward to the playoffs but learned it wouldn't be happening. All three levels of the team, including the ones who were not at the game, had been disqualified. A harsher punishment than the other team. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking to even talk about it. The NCSL posted a statement on Facebook saying the board made the decision after speaking with witnesses and teams. It's not a just response to the incident that happened. The Panthers say they'll continue to practice with teammates that have become family in the hope the decision is overturned. Let our kids play. One, two, three, Panthers! The Panthers tell us another team from the league has reached out to play a unity game instead of a championship. Our repeated calls and emails to the NCSL were not answered. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. All right, Ashley, thank you. And you can read the full statement from the Neighborhood Children's Sports League posted in this story on our website. Just head over to fox6now.com. Man, shout out to the uh, local news, man. They uh, they covered it, man. Yeah, it was crazy. As you can see, like, man, like, it was on grounds. Like, you hurt the kids, man, and it's crazy, man. Like, so you was uh, touching on, like, on fees and like how much how much did it cost like for you to like to run this team? So man? to like, run a team, roughly fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand our, our first year. Um, I know a lot of people like yeah you can get grants and nonprofit, but again this is my first year we went ahead and run it. Yeah. So we didn't have our nonprofit or anything that's set up yet. Right. So we had to pay pay out of pocket and get it done because we that's what we wanted to do. So like how did the uh, man like this, this is for kids man like. I, I know they couldn't wait till y'all got out the league, man. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. What was so crazy about it, bro? The board members are other coaches and just regular people. They're not executives or people that can make money decisions or any make right decisions. Like, like it, it was just crazy. So how, crazy. Did, how did your kids feel about this, man? Like, damn. Man, they cried. They were super upset. Super Come upset. Come on, man. Super upset. You Come know? on, man. And, like, over, over like that. that's what I don't like, man. Like, Adults that come in and and like jurisdicts how kids should act. Like these kids are kids. You don't right. teach them a lesson by kicking them out the right. league, man. Right. Like right. that's crazy. And man. they trying to say they kicked us out because we wasn't leading by example. Again, we ain't no. You think we winning? You think you think we going to practice playing in our playing in our pockets? Right. We actually leading by example. You leading the league. Yeah. That's leading. That's leading. Like, man, right and we had more kids than any any team in the league, bro. And this is our first year, right. and a lot of them been doing it for ten years. Wow. Or more. Wow, 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 wow. You know?
Wow. So, uh, all right. Additionally, man, we gonna we gonna leave that alone because I get really yeah. emotional. Yeah. Man, so, additionally, right. man, you got a lot of a lot of shit going on, man. You uh, you just dropped Stolies, man. Like that. Stolies, about man. to drop. The premiere is about to drop. Yeah. We got, he got the flyers, man. You know, yep. what I'm saying he out here going crazy. He got yep. the poster, man. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, sir. I should I should have brought the poster over here, shit, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> let, let's touch on the uh, let's touch on the uh, the Stolies, the project right now. Man, I'm excited. This this gonna be real big for the city, bro. Like this is probably one of the biggest projects that I would say ever came out the city. Yeah. Um, I do know there was other films that came out the city, but you know, I took four years to create this. You know, people like, man, when is gonna come out? I said, you know what? I'm, if I'm gonna take this long, I'm gonna make sure it's right. done right. You know, hey, in case y'all don't know, Milwaukee is known for stolies, man. I'm gonna let yeah. you touch on that while I go get this poster, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's known for stolies. Milwaukee known for stolies. Um, a, a lot with the youth. So, you know, with this movie, I wanted to, like, create examples for the youth so they can learn from it. So it's a, it's a great story that the youth and just outside people can learn about it. Um, the storyline is a little different. It's going to be a little tricky. Y'all think it's going to be about, like, uh, young kids joyriding and stuff like that. It's not about joyriding and stuff like that. Y'all going to get the idea once y'all come see it. And that's, that's, that's next week. Next week, Saturday on the 11th. So if you need tickets, the number at the bottom there, you can give us a call. Hit me up on Facebook, Carvel Brooks. But that's the information. Definitely there, man. Definitely there. Where is it premiering at? Uh, Downer Theater. It's um, it's on the east side. Okay, copy that, yeah. man. Y'all make yeah. sure y'all support, man. Uh, so like this, uh, you got a, a, a all star cast in this movie, man. Yeah. Drop drop some names, man. Um. Yeah. Again, I I wanted everybody from the city. I I didn't want to go outside <laughs> the city, and I wanted them to work for it. You know, I didn't say, hey, uh, talk about stolen cars right now, and they just say anything. Yeah, you know, we had a real script, and we met at least three to four times a week Absolutely. for at least more than three hours, and we sat down and went through the script. Wow. You know, every wow. actor, you know, we had over 50 people in this movie, bro. Yeah. And so, the auditions was crazy, too. Yeah, I was there, uh, auditions too. was crazy, bro. <laughs> I was there, like, was crazy. Like, <laughs> auditions was crazy, was crazy I'm talking about that Eve at Club Eve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. It was crazy. Man. And it was so many other people that were supposed to be in a film, but the way it happened, the movie just, it didn't go as planned, bro. It didn't go as planned. We ended up shooting a movie a whole year later after auditions. So after auditions, it took us a whole nother year to actually start filming, bro. Absolutely, man. So, but we ended up getting it done, man. We got we got some great talent here. A beastie movie, man. We actually do have the uh, the trailer, man. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned, man. Check this trailer out, man. Stoli's the movie directed by... No other than other Carvel Brooks. Shorty now. What he gonna do when he come up? Steal cars like his dad? <laughs> oh, nigga, it's living dangerous ass like around this bitch, nigga. I done had a motherfucking shootout. Oh, in a fight. Oh, oh. Less than 24 motherfucking hours, though. What I go on love is loyalty, nigga. He ain't show club. Y'all niggas hot as a bitch. Damn. I got a cold operation set up. I've been buying stories for a nice price. Switching the van numbers and the title, throwing bogus space on them motherfuckers. The niggas been dumping that motherfucking boy so hard. They been buying a new story every week. Selling the old ones to the bitches. Rich as a bitch! Oh, you little niggas fucking the game up. Niggas going on high speed chases. Motherfuckers dying. Face lining, man. That 
stole this yeah. movie yeah. coming soon, yeah. man. Yeah. So, yeah. man, you know I had to get my boy yeah. shut up yeah. and yeah. hustle. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. I want to yeah. see some selfies in your My boy, uh, I got you. I appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> appreciate my you, boy, bro, bro. man. So, man, not, man, my boy, we go back, man. This yeah, man yeah. have been down here dropping tracks and all kinds yeah, of shit, yeah. man. Like, yes, sir. So, like, not only is he a coach, a uh, uh, director, <laughs> club, a promoter, promoter, club promoter, 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 man. I manage artists, models, yeah, stuff like that. Sheesh, so, sheesh. so let's yeah. touch on the club promotion, man. Like, uh, like, how, how did, wait, first of all, man, how... Cause you, you got kids, right? I got kids, bro. Okay. Yeah. How many kids you got? I got three kids, bro. How are you multitasking all this, man? Like, how are you doing this? Like, are you even human? <laughs> man, you gotta have a team. You gotta have the right team, the right people around you. Yeah. Like, I learned a long, a long time ago, relationships really ain't nothing. You gotta have teammates. You know, like I look at, I look at life different than other people, bro. I look at teammates. Ain't no way I'm gonna be able to create what I'm trying to create with a girlfriend. Somebody who want that time like that, you know? Like, I need a teammate. Yeah. Somebody to understand what I'm doing and we gonna create. Wow, so, man. You just yeah, touched me. You just said, man, I'm sitting here listening. Yeah, like, bro. For real. For real, man. Yeah. So, shout your team out, man. So, my team, my 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 assistant, my right-hand man, my assistant, Big Hurt. You know, when I'm doing the club stuff, that's the only person I trust for my money. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it's good to be able to trust somebody, too, man. Yeah. But my main teammate, D-Baby. My right hand. Yeah. I leave everything up to her. If she I need still spitting, man. She coming back out. She's yeah. gonna be back out. With some She's gonna be back she out. Got the bar, man. Y'all make She's man, y'all. Be back out tell her where to find her ass. She, yeah. She, she look her up. On, uh, look her up online. D baby. She got that music coming out. Yep. She got co writer. Yeah. Facts. Facts. Yes, man. sir. So like, so like, you got the team, but how is you balancing like being a father and like doing all this? Like, man, like how is you? Time, bro. Like yeah. it's all about time, especially Absolutely. being a father. You gotta have the time in too. So, and then I want to have a good relationship with my kids. Absolutely. All my kids live with me, you know. So they all they all live with me. I got all boys, so I make sure they live with me. They gonna play? They playing football? Or uh, my nine year old, he play football and basketball right now. Yep, I, I've been his coach. See, he been six years old. He been playing since he been six. And that's something else that you do yeah. too, bro. He just this man just came from a basketball game. Bro. I just left a basketball, basketball game. Came right here, man. <laughs> came right here, bro. I ain't went to put a fit on nothing, man. I came right, right came here, right here, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, it's one minute left in the game, bro. I'll be on my way. I'm like, all right, bet that, bro. For bet real, that, man. man. All right, so we got this new segment in our show. Uh, we've been running a little bit. It's called words. I drop a word, and you tell me how it make you feel. All right. All right, bet. All right, copy that. All right. Our first word. Business. Hustler. Focus. Time. About that. <laughs> <laughs> copy that. Copy that. All right. CLE. That's Ch not even a word, but we can make it a word. Yeah. Changing lives doing the entertainment. Change. Lives. Entertainment. Me, Milwaukee, right. family. Right. That's my next word. Family. Family. Family is everything. Uh, life. Ain't, 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 I'm not nothing without my family. So, yep. All right. Parents. Parents. Uh, love. Uh, backbone. Structure. I grew up with a mom and dad. I know a lot of people uh, haven't, but yeah, that's why I got structured. That's why I'm able to do a lot of stuff. Shout out to my moms and my pops. I got both of them in my life and my stepmom too. You raised that yeah. monster of a yes, son. Yes, sir. Man, I appreciate y'all. Jeez. All right. Marketing. Marketing. Uh, marketing a new wave. Something I'm about to get better at. Yeah. So if, if, if you can market, you can get out there. You can do anything you want if you can market. Promotion. Promotion. I am promotion. You got to promote every day. Whatever you're trying to do, you got to wake up and promote. Strippers. Strippers. I love the strippers. <laughs> hey, hey, I might have strippers at my wedding. I promise you. <laughs> I, I, I promise you. <laughs> All right, man. That's the end of our word segment, man. Y'all shout out, man. My boy, CLE, man. He going crazy. So, additionally, man. All right, we gonna, we gonna, we get into the rap of uh, Picking a brain to CLE, but you opening up an entertainment center uh, yeah. ran by youth. Yeah, ran by the youth. Ran by the youth. Yeah, ran by the youth. So my goal is to, is, is to teach the youth uh, either sports or entertainment, either how to run cameras, how to edit, how to direct, how to produce, and they actually run the studio. You wow. know, they actually do the filmmaking. What? And before you know it, they're going to be producing and directing their own films 
at the age of 11, 12. Bro, let me know when that open up, bro. So, I'm right there with so you. Man. That's the goal. Yeah, you know, we, we finna change the youth. We finna change the, the whole vibe. So the only way we gonna change that is by swag and attitude. Right. If we acting all old and shit, they not gonna listen to us. Yeah, so that's why I come out with the attitude and swag I have in the games. Yeah, so they can respect us and, and feel us, you know? Facts, facts. I love you know? it. I love it. Yeah. Man, so I met you shooting music videos, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back shooting music videos too, bro. Hey, I ain't shot in so long. I actually shot a video last week. I got two more people to just ask me. You know, I stopped shooting because it was a lot with it, bro. Yeah, fact. And then also being a shooter, bro, a lot of people are like, yeah, I want the best shooter. I want the best shooter. The, the game I learned and that I'm going to give everybody, technology and everything fucking changes. I went to school. I got a degree for this shit. And that don't mean nothing, yeah, bro. Not if you don't nothing. grow and learn with technology, the editing and the the you know the effects and shit, yeah. you gonna be weak. Your shit not gonna be your shit not gonna be top notch. Yeah, you, you want your shit to be valid, bro. Man, so, I just had a nigga in the studio last weekend, and I done bought all this studio equipment. This guy yeah. came in and was like, bro, listen, listen to this beat I played on my phone. I'm talking yeah. about this shit. Sounds yeah. So crispy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, bro, never did you play on the phone. He was yeah. like, bro, here, look at the program. And press yeah. play. I'm yeah. like, technology is going yeah. crazy. Technology is crazy. And if yeah, you learn facts. it and growing with it, yeah. you can be great. Facts. And so you I'm, on to something with that, with yeah. that entertainment center yeah. with the, for the kids. Yeah. Like, yeah. what? Yes, sir. You, you always going to stay fresh. Yeah. Always. You always. Because they're young. They're going to keep growing. And we're going to keep building monsters. Wow. Keep creating monsters. Wow, wow. Well, we ain't going to think because you a busy man, man. We're going to get out yes, of this man here because I'm pretty sure he got some work to be doing. <laughs> but yes, yeah, man, y'all go make sure y'all check out that Stoli's, the movie, next Saturday, man. Saturday yeah. start at 9. Be there at 9 o'clock. Uh, start at 9.30. Stoli's, the movie. Don't miss this. Also, it's going to be on Tubi, Amazon, and Netflix. I can't wait to watch this movie. Yes, sir. Bro. Four years we've been waiting, man. Four years you made us wait. No, but you can't rush greatness, man. Y'all sure. make sure y'all go tap in. My boy CLE, Carvel Brooks, man. Y'all follow him wherever. He, you, he, he, you can't miss him. You can't miss him, man. Yes, like, sir. He all across the board, man. Or just go to the strip club. Man. Go to the strip club. Okay. <laughs> Pull up at the Players Club on Sunday. <laughs> yes, sir. Do some shit like that. Catch him at the football, basketball game. Basketball Catch him shoot a video. Catch yes, him you know, fucking building a rocket, man. Yo, what's nah. next, though? No, but for what's real. next, though? What is next? Real, bro? That's a good question, though. What's next for you? I'm a homeowner already. I ain't put that out there. I own properties right now, so I just got a townhouse. My goal is to own a couple more properties or get into some commercial space, bro. Like, if I can open up my own club right now, do you know what I'll do right now if I open up a club right now? When you open up your club. Like you said, when I open up the club. Yes, sir. You talking that shit existence, bro. Can I go live with the club, bro? Can I have some of your strippers at my wedding? Man, you already know what time it is, man. We just picked the brand, the CLE. That St that Stoli's movie coming out, man. Music videos. Y'all go to Players Club, man. Whatever. Support my boy, man. It's your boy, Sir Quinn. We checking out at Best of the Best TV. And you already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Yeah. All of my niggas, they still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. I'm fucking that good with using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Fuck with us, wrong, and you niggas in trouble. The 40 they took ain't no time. Yeah. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them I serve, bitch, shut up and hustle.